Hey, what's up everyone? It has been a few moments since I have created a C-Sharp tutorial and I figured I better get in here and finish this series. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be shifting our focus to loops. So this is a great way to basically create your applications to do something over and over and over again. So we're going to start fresh, create a new application and go from there. Sponsor message. Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. So click new. I'm on Mac here, it might be a little bit different on Windows, but it's pretty much gonna be the same thing. We're going to go .NET Core, click App, and then Console Application, click Next, and give it a project name. Make sure it's very descriptive and unique, and then click Create. We're also going to need the terminal right here. Awesome, so I'm ready to get started. We got a Hello World application, but let's talk about loops. Now I'm gonna try and teach you guys loops in a general way so you are able to pick up all of the key loop types. So there's the while loop, there's the do while loop, there's the for loop, and then for different languages, there's sometimes variations of loops. So for example, in C-sharp, there is the for each loop. Java has a very similar loop. The syntax is a little bit different, but well, this isn't even a Java series, so we don't even have to worry about that. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the while loop, and I will show you guys the key pieces. So the syntax is gonna look like this. I like to just create the body first, so type it out like so. And we're going to need three pieces. First, we need some kind of initialization. So going up here above the while loop, we'll say int i, and we'll set it to zero. i is going to be used to keep track of where we are in this loop. Then we need some kind of condition or a comparison. So we'll say, hey, as long as i is less than 10. So if i is less than 10, this is going to evaluate to true, and the block of code is going to execute. So what is the block of code going to do? Well, we can just console output the value of i, so we can do it like that. And then at the very end of the loop, we're going to say I++, which is the update. So the three pieces, the initialization, the condition or comparison, and then lastly, we have the update. I remember ICU, and I'm just gonna copy this path. I'm gonna say CD, drag this bad boy in here, like so, and then just say .NET run. All right, there we go. So you can see what happens here, it starts at zero and goes all the way up to nine. So total, there's 10 iterations here. You can change the way the loop works by modifying any of these three pieces, but that is the core loop, that's the one you should understand. Throughout the next couple of videos, we're gonna be talking about some variations and some of the things you can do with these loops. So in the next video, we are going to be talking about the do while loop, which is a little bit uh, different loop than the while loop, but definitely very similar. So be sure to check that out. I'll see you guys then, and don't forget to subscribe. And of course, welcome back to your C-Sharp series.